family to Pastor Nakabeb and friends. I've been asked to uh, offer comfort, words of comfort to you. First of all, I'd like to say that oh, we'd like to take the word of God, first of all, and then by that and get our message from that. And I offer you uh, John 14, chapter, verses 1, 2, and 3, which says, Let not your hearts be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, ye may be also. John 11, 25 and 26. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever shall live and believe in me shall never die. So I say to you today, that Sister Mary has not died. She has only made a transition from the natural world to the heavenly realm. There is no sting in death, so she had not pain or suffering in the transition. Because death has no sting for those who believe in in the Almighty God. Because as we said before, absent from the body, present with the Lord. In this time of your grief, I recommend to you the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, the one whom Jesus sent when he went back to the Father, called another Comforter. He's your helper. He will be your guide in everything that you need guidance in. So whatever you need, he will be there for you to aid you and walk along beside you to be a helper for you. For he is a helper, he's an exhorter, he's an encourager, he's a soother and an advocate when you need uh, an advocate. He's an intercessor. So he, and he will ease your pain, the pain that you're suffering now, you will, you will be strengthened by the power of the Holy Spirit. And most of all, he brings peace and joy. And right now that I decree and declare peace and joy for your lives, that you may be comforted and know that there is no uh, sting in death, that there is no sorrow that Sister Mary has. She's now rejoicing with the saints in heaven, and she's having a good time. So I just bless you today and offer you the power of the Holy Spirit.